is it. So it plugs into standard outlet here, and I can go ahead and show that. The plug is actually here at the base. There's a power button here. And it's actually touch sensitive. So you can hear it's actually moving air pretty quickly. This is the higher mode, but you can see there's an indicator light showing that it is working. And this is the whisper quiet mode. So there's two speed settings on this. And then turn it off. So there's a high, there's a high volume and then just the whisper quiet mode. So both of those you can see the power button here. You can see there's absolutely no light leakage. The UVC stays inside the unit, so it keeps you safe. Um, you don't get affected by the radiation leak. It's all enclosed inside of this unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart for you. Again, that's the whisper quiet mode. And one more time, it's gonna go fully off. So a lot of people have been asking, how do you replace the filter? It's called a pre-filter. It's actually a HEPA 10 filter and it's actually Plug it right now. But there's four screws at the base, and the reason why there's screws is because uh, for it to be a certified product for health, um, it actually needs to be screwed on securely. So that way, there's no accidents. In one of our earlier designs, we were trying uh, magnetic uh, mounts and connectors, but that actually won't be certified. So you can see here. These are the four, and they actually become the feet of the unit. So I'll put that down right here. And so the base here, when you remove this, you can see inside and where the magic happens. So this unit right here is the pre-filter. This is an HE10 filter element. So this is what's going to be made replaceable on our um, Kickstarter. And here you can see the actual light unit. So if you look inside, you can see the reflective chamber inside where the UVC light is. And it's interesting because it actually sits vertically. So unlike a lot of units out there on the market, this piece is so I'm going to remove, I'm going to get a screwdriver, but I'm going to remove this entire piece here and I'm going to get to the bulb itself. But you can see it's very easy to remove and replace the pre-filter. And here you can see, right, so now I've gotten the base out, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the UVC on. Let's try this out. This is the inside of the device. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see the UVC bulb in the center. So you can see on the sides of the, the vortex chamber, there's a mirror reflective coating on the edge. So basically, the reflective layer shines the UVC bulb. The bulb is, is shining outward 360 degrees, but then the mirror reflective technology points it back. So it's actually intensifying the UV dosage between the bulb and that uh, reflective layer. So that chamber where the air passes through is extremely strong. So that's how we're gonna get the maximum amount of um, air purification in that chamber. And you can see how it's aligned vertically. So it's actually letting the air pass through as much as possible, as much contact with the UV light as actually as possible inside of this unit. It's actually 
of the height of the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. But you can see it's extremely bright, extremely powerful. And that's really how the you know, disinfecting power comes from. So I've already removed the four screws that are holding this base plate to, to the unit. And I'm going to be able to remove the UV bulb. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Alright, so this is the base. I'm going to remove the bulb and show you how long this bulb actually is. So, there are a lot of UVC you know, air purifiers in the market, but most of them are a tiny bulb which only is like five, three to five inches long. This one, as you can see, when I put it all together, it's 75% of the height of the unit, so it's massive. This is the bulb that really powers the unit. 